Well, on uh, Jay Z's Blueprint Three, which came out later on, on the song "What We Talking About," he had the line, uh, "Dame made millions, even Jazz made some scraps. He would have made more, but he ain't signed his contract." Uh, when you heard that, well, how'd you feel? Um, of, I guess it was true. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I guess it's true. Okay. Um, but you know, um. Yeah, but um, you can't. I, I'm 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 nobody, and and I don't. I gotta say it this way because that's how I talk. I ain't nobody's girlfriend, so you can't tell me what's gonna happen later, what you're gonna do later, and this is gonna be this and that, and hope and dream and wish and not 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 in business. I need this shit in black and white. I need. I need that. I need that bread. I right. need the money in order for me to keep doing whatever I'm doing. If not, then I get it elsewhere. But yeah. I, I can't do it with you, and that's all I was. Fair enough. So then, in 2001, Jay Z drops Takeover, where he disses Nas uh, and Prodigy and Mob Deep. A mm -hmm. little bit of time passes, and then Nas drops Ether. You get mentioned three times in that song. Yeah. Uh, Nas said, wearing jazz chains, no text, no cash, no cars. Another line says, your ass went from jazz uh, to hanging with Kane, to Irv, to Big. And then another line says, uh, Sean Carter, Jay-Z, damn you on jazz dick. Yeah, I, you know. Uh, okay. So that, 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 that was very awkward because when I heard it, yeah, you're now being thrown in the middle of this thing. Right. Okay, and, and, and before you answer that question, there was a rumor that you and Nas were talking before he dropped Teether, and he was like kind of picking your brain to try to come up with lines for that song. True or false? Most definitely false. Okay. Like, that's, All right, well, thank you for clearing that up. Yeah, that, yeah that's, that's the, that's the storyline of a fucking piece of shit. Like, I would never do anything like that. Um, yeah. But I, I will tell you, I felt so very awkward. Well, well, you know, so very awkward because when I first heard it, it was on a K Slade um, mixtape, and he put it. It was an exclusive that he put on. Um, I think he had already put out a volume thirteen or something like that. And he put it on a 13 and a half. Like, so I guess he did another <laughs> another uh, mixtape just to add that on to it. Yeah, I mean, it's a big song. Yeah. And, um, you know, it was just mad awkward because, number one, I would never do that. Number two, they were playing it. And they kind of, I was up at the office and they kind of staged it. So I was in the office kind of like to see my reaction. And I'm like, that shit is fucking awkward. Like that, that's all I could say. Like that shit yeah, is crazy. I bet. <laughs> I bet. You I know? mean, yeah. And, and, and eventually, not to cut you off like uh, that, but eventually I was asked, did I have anything to do with it? And I was like, hell no. Like I don't, you know, at the time, Irv and I weren't talking because that was the that was the thing that it wasn't Nas that I was talking to Irv and then Irv would communicate with Nas. That's what it was. Yeah. Um, and I, I wasn't talking like that with with Irv. I mean, we were cool, but you know, I wasn't, and I was not talking to Nas. And even if I was talking on a a, a frequent basis with both of those guys, like none of that type of shit would ever come out of my mouth. And you know, yeah. That that's just that's just low. That's just low. 